Anesthetic drugs, antibiotics, or antiseptic agents may not agree with your body, and you may develop hives or breathing problems. This is called an allergic reaction. Does this happen often? It is rare. However, the severity can range from mild to severe. We can't predict if or when it will occur. If something happens, we will treat it straight away. During anesthesia, if your stomach contents go into your lungs, you will get severe pneumonia. This is called aspiration pneumonia. That sounds scary. To prevent this from happening, before general anesthesia, we make sure your stomach is empty. You shouldn't eat or drink anything. However, patients who must have emergency surgery after eating, patients with gastrointestinal disease, pregnant women, and patients with stomach tumors all have a high risk of aspiration pneumonia. Rarely, the breathing tube or allergy can cause bronchospasm. What is bronchospasm? Your windpipe becomes narrow for one instant and you cannot breathe properly. Although this is uncommon, patients who have asthma or are smokers are at high risk. If bronchospasm happens, we will treat it immediately. However, the surgery may be postponed. About 1 in 100,000 patients, because of their genes, have a reaction to inhalational anesthetics, causing muscles to stiffen and a high fever. This is called malignant hyperthermia. In the worst case scenario, if these patients receive inhalational anesthetics, they are at risk of death. However, the operating room will have special medicine to treat this, and the anesthesia is performed by an experienced specialist. So, if anything happens, we can deal with it properly. By the way, has anyone in your family ever had a severe complication during surgery or anesthesia? I have not heard of anything like that. If blood clots form in your legs and travel to your lungs, and they are big clots, they can be life threatening. That sounds scary. It is rare, and there is a chance we may not be able to save your life. It is well known that it happens during flights. However, in hospitals, your legs don't move much, and it can also happen. Is it preventable? Yes. We will take measures to prevent it. We will put stockings on your feet and massage pumps on your calves. That sounds good. Can I do anything myself? Moving your legs is said to be the best method of prevention. When you are able to move, try to stretch your legs. Doctor, I have a question. I read on the internet that someone woke up during general anesthesia for their stomach surgery and they couldn't move. Is that possible? It is very rare. However, I cannot say it is impossible. How is it possible? Anesthesiologists may accidentally forget to give anesthetic medication or the drip that is delivering the anesthetic medication may be blocked or kinked and the patient doesn't receive any anesthetic. However, to ensure that it's picked up immediately, We place brainwave monitoring on your head to confirm that you are indeed receiving anesthesia and unconscious. Ah, so you can rule out waking up during surgery. However, if possible, can I ask that you don't use medication that will stop me from moving? If so, then if I have pain or wake up, then I can raise my hand to let you know? <laughs> that is a good idea. But then it will be difficult to perform the surgery, and overall, it poses more risks to yourself. It's okay, don't worry. Please trust us. I think you're very worried about having surgery overseas. Please leave it to us. I understand, doctor. 
Please do your best.